Oh, your eyewitness weather forecast. Welcome back on this beautiful Wednesday morning. I know looks are in everything, but come on, our radar looks pretty great considering there's nothing on it. Hills Grove is quiet, so is Forksville, due shore. Zooming out, it's just more of the same. You want me to show you that beauty, though? Let's actually take a trip outside. We'll go to Wilkes-Barre, where there's really nothing happening in the sky except for some blue and some sunshine. We love both of those things. It's a great day to get outdoors, whether you're going for an early morning run or maybe, just maybe, taking your lunch outside. I would absolutely do that today. I know we start off cold, but don't worry. Those temperatures will climb. I'm giving the Eat Outside Index a 10 because overall it's an incredibly comfortable day with plenty of sunshine for us to enjoy. Let me take you through today. Here's the deal with the temperatures. Again, we do start off cold, but we end up in the mid and upper 70s. The upper 70s reserved more for the southern tier in the Susquehanna Valley. A couple of spots will try to make a run at 80. Either way, it is a very comfortable day. It's not too humid. It's not too windy. It is just right. Even pollen levels, they're not great, but they're not terrible today. Medium when it comes to pollen in the air, and it's mostly coming from grasses. This will change. It will be low tomorrow. You might not like the reason why, though. Here's what's happening. We do get low pressure coming in. It's actually part of, believe it or not, why our temperatures are so much warmer today than they were yesterday. But the rain part of that system starts to affect us as we move past midnight tonight. And by the time you wake up for your commute tomorrow, you do want that umbrella. That rain sticks with us throughout the day. We'll see scattered showers. And in the evening, we're also looking at a rumble of thunder as well. So nothing too crazy. And I want to mention we're not looking at severe weather. Just a few rumbles here and there that might catch your attention. But it really will be a nice day today and an OK day tomorrow. Nothing too terrible when it comes down to it. A little recap on today, though. We're in the mid and upper 70s for your highs. We see plenty of sunshine. We're already seeing plenty this morning, and we are not nearly as windy as we were yesterday. So that is a big improvement. I know the wind was definitely bothersome to a lot of people who had outdoor activities overnight. Tonight, we're a bit breezy, but not too bad when it comes down to it. We see the upper 50s, increasing clouds, and of course those showers again beginning after midnight. By the time we get to tomorrow, we see showers throughout the day, a rumble of thunder at night, but nothing too crazy there. Friday, we start to clear out a little bit, but some clouds do stick around. We do see more sunshine for Saturday, though, so it's a good start to the weekend. A couple of showers could creep in to the very top of the northern tier, but at that point, it is going to be very late in the day, so hopefully you spend the whole day outside anyways. Sunday, some more showers creep back in. They stick with us Monday and Tuesday as well, and we are much warmer toward the end of the week as warm air moves in from the south. But we have a lot going on in this forecast. We always seem to have that, so download the Eyewitness Weather app, and you won't have any questions about the forecast when you're outside and not in front of the TV. And I, I, I hope everybody is outside today. It's going to be absolutely fantastic out. Like you said, another day. We had yesterday that was pretty, and then another one. Not too bad. I know. I'm just, like, tallying them off at this mm. point. This is what happens when I'm in in the morning, guys. I bring the nice weather. We you like it. it. Yeah, how, okay, so it's your third day waking up early this week joining us. How's that? How's it going for you so far? I will say I'm definitely going to go get some coffee after the show's mm -hmm. over, but you know what? Once you do it more than one day a week, you absolutely get used to the schedule and it's a lot easier. That said, I do feel like my nighttime hours are a little bit easier to um, handle. So yeah. props to you guys for setting that along <laughs> very early every day. I think people ask us that all the time. What time do you get up? And for me, it's around 1 2 o'clock in the morning. And for yeah, you, it's, it's like 2.30 for me. A little yeah, less yeah. time to do hair for me. Yeah. yeah. So, so my, it's, as soon as you're used to it, it'll be Friday and you'll be back to, to your normal schedule again. Right, you know? exactly. My first ever job in television was the actual graveyard shift. I would get in at 11 o'clock at yeah. night and get out at 7 in the morning. So I know the struggle. And uh, <laughs> seriously, props to you guys for oh. doing it every day. No, when you like your job, it's, it's mm -hmm. worth waking up for. It's very so. true. All right, Christina, thanks. Well, it's time for some.